am I a truth seeker or experience seeker? In this little clip, I like to clarify some very important fact about this. It is so important for us to know when we are born, whether we are seeking for any specific experience in this play of Lila, or we are really seeking for the truth. Now, I want to show you graphically so that we can see what exactly we are trying to focus on. What, when one is born, 90% of the time of the population, based on so far, based on the history of the population, they are here in this play to seek for experience. Now, that experience can be a variety of experiences. But less than, only less than 1% of the population, they are seeking for the truth. The truth and only truth. And that is all they are looking for. Now, for that 90% of the population, if you are in that category, you are seeking for experience in different variety of the things that this play of Lila can offer you, such as any kind of pleasures, um, you're looking for happiness, peace, any peace of mind, good feelings, um, relationship, you know, two people love one another. Some people are looking for power because sometimes they have lack of power within themselves because they don't feel fulfilled. Name, fame, you can say relationship again and, and security and um or eventually love. Now, this category of people, they are not interested in anything like that in this category. So that in this samsara, there is a lot of ignorance. Of course, the first thing that has to happen to this person is to ignore exactly what is the truth and who they are so that that ignorance has to be here functioning as this body mind and a, and, and a thought in the mind as a person and go ahead and experience all these experiences that they want to have. So in order to have this type of a life, you that ignorance has to be there. It's programmed. And it's not a mistake. So it is not a mistake that somebody doesn't wake up. It's okay. So if that is the case for you, you need to be able to accept that more than anything and just to manage this. Managing this can be by... Just having that peace of mind and happiness can happen when we go for a nice walk in the nature, when we meditate, when we go um, get together with family and friends, any kind of a yoga and exercise. And these are all the things that we can do to manage the stress and the problems that this play of ignorance can offer. Now, if you are in the category of the truth, this category of people, they are not interested in any kind of experience. The experience doesn't matter what experience they have. They are looking for the truth. From the very beginning, from the childhood, they want to know what is the truth, number one, who am I, number two, and three, what is my relationship with the truth? Am I apart from it or am I one from it, one, one, one with it? So just see but in this category of people they have that strong authentic burning desire for the truth and for the truth only for the truth for the sake of the truth not the truth that i want to run away from this samsara and and not using that truth as a sanctuary not using the awakening for for reaching to a goal so that they can use it again to this, to this samsara of this life. That is not what they want. All they are looking for authentically is what is the truth and who am I? And that's all there is. Now, among these people, these 90% of the population, there is a small percentage of the people who get into the play 
and they realize that this is not what they want. Honestly, they know that. This group of the people, like maybe somewhere between 3 to 5% of the population, no more than that, they make a shift from the category of experience seeker to the truth seekers. If their intention is authentic, if they are really, really the truth seeker, if they have that burning desire in their heart to know the truth, I have good news for them. They're going to wake up. The awakening can happen. If that desire is just for running away from this problem that they have in here, I have news for you. That is impossible. And to going from this category to that, to this category of the truth, and trying to now to wake up is going to be another spiritual samsara which is much more misery than the one that in, in the world. Because in the worldly stuff, at least you can set a goal and try your best and get and reach it. Here, this is not a goal. And because it is not an experience, then the, these people who are experience seekers, they can never recognize that. The path of the truth is not about any specific experience. It's about the knowledge. So the people in general, when they're born and when they grow up, they don't have experience problem in here. There is a lack of knowledge here. Lack, and that ignorance, because of that hardwired ignorance that is right here in the mind, they, don't, they are not able to see what is the ultimate truth, which is right here and right now. So therefore, they are going to grow to this play of samsara, and they're seeking for that. They are still seeking, but they are not seeking for the, for the good, for the main source. They are seeking for having all these feelings such as peacefulness and happiness and peace of mind and so on. So therefore, please try to realize that we, you need to be very, very authentic to yourself. Be very honest. Who, what am I looking for? What it is that I want? Am I looking for an experience here in this life? Or am I looking for the truth? It is so clear. If there is no more desire in you, never been, to have any kind of experience in this world, and you want to just find out what is the bottom of this, what is behind all that, and that is the only thing that is in your mind, always been in your heart, then you are in that category. But if it's not, if you just, this is a learned stuff, because everybody else in the path of uh, now spirituality and let me go and now I would join them so that I can be more happy, so I can be more feeling, my feeling is you know, better and much more peaceful, then this path is not for you. This path is going to bring you much, much more misery and problems than, than the world itself. So please do not bang your head against the wall to get into this path. And go to the different retreats and then and snack signs and listen to pay all this money and time and effort for something that you are not even meant to be. When I say meant to be, it's not that the, the people who are, who are in the category, this 1%, are much more blessed than the other one. Everyone is blessed because the truth, the true nature of existence. This existence is in, residing in every single heart and in equally. So there is no one group better than the other or one group are more blessed. If there's a grace, grace is for all of that. So if you are in the category of the experience seekers, you need to accept it. Just make the best out of that. If you are seeking for the truth, you need to accept that and move on with that. So I hope this explanation is enough, especially for the people who are contacting me. You need to listen to this interview, into this clip. And if you think it's useful, please use it. Take it to your heart. And I wish you the very best. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me at E-R-O-O-Z-D-A-R at hotmail.com. Peace be with you.